for you, the, talk about the journey through high school. Talk about the journey through going from being this little kid who had, I mean, you've been a celebrity your entire life. Uh, maybe not, you know, uh, Zach Efron, but you were oh, yeah. in the world of sport. You, everyone knows you. What is that like? Is, is it get, are you tired of it now? Or do you like it now? Uh, yeah, it I've been, I, like I'm 31 years old now. I'm pretty, pretty used to it by now. Yeah. But definitely, I went through some phases in there. Definitely around high school, where I just didn't want to be that boy with no legs. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I used to wear pants all the time. Because uh, if you wear pants, the way you walk now, you can. Uh, you, you can barely tell. You can barely if it's tell. windy, you can definitely tell. Yeah. But with no 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 wind, the pants it fits right in, and and that's <laughs> I, that's how I wanted to be. I just wanted to be like everybody else. I didn't yeah. want to be different because right. there's right. A, a lot of weight that comes with being different. A lot of yeah. stairs, you know, all that oh, stuff that God, goes with yeah. it. So I'm surprised it does you know happen and just affect you more mentally than just. Come over here and talk to me. And well, I am, I'm like that now. I mean, yeah. I used to live in New York City, and you can imagine I'm the only guy in New York City in the wintertime who wears shorts. So right. I'm in the subways <laughs> and going to work, and I get all types of stares, all type of looks, all type of comments. Uh, oh, I'm very man. much used to it now, but... Well, that's I, a good place to... Get, it's a good place to experience. New York is very, very kind and is nice. There still, are, there still people, are there still people that, makes, that, that make remarks about... about oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Of course. Really? All the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. Because I'm in a bubble because... I'm always either talking about it here or I'm in the middle of a CAF event, so yeah. I don't see that. So, I, yeah. so my favorite one now is that uh, you know people look at myself and other amputees like myself and they think that we have an unfair advantage, which is somewhat true. In, that can wait, be wait, as in, tall a, as in I a sporting want. event? Yes. In sporting event, yeah. 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 They'll say they'll say that a, du a double amputee. Oh, you can be as tall as you want. You Do you know what that as that's, that's, no, old, that's the old Jack Dempsey uh, from the New Orleans Saints. Oh, the Samantha who kicked the who kicked Tom Dempsey. Yeah. Tom Dempsey, I beg yeah. your pardon. Tom Dempsey, yeah. New Orleans. Saints, the kicker, 63 yard field goal, 63 field goal, yeah. 1971, yeah. and they said he had an unfair advantage. He had a half of a foot because the, the front of his foot, he had a square wow. thing yeah. on there. Like, yeah. Well, you know, so there's gonna always going to be haters, right? Always. That, that's, right. So always. are you are you still uh, participating in athletics, or I what, am, what, what do you do? Talk about your I life. I am right now. Uh, currently training for my fifth Paralympic Games, which will hopefully happen next year in Tokyo. And for the people that don't know you, talk about your events and what uh, over the years, sure, what sure. you've done and, and fifth. Yeah. Absolutely, so, yes. Been yeah. to a few. Been swimming a long time. Yeah. Uh, my main event is the 200 individual medley, which is a 50 of each stroke. Uh, that's what I've been doing since really 2004 was my first yeah. games, 15 years old. And uh, I did a little track and field as well. And of course, I'm an Ironman finisher. So I, I dab dabble in a little bit of uh, a little bit. Russ of has an Ironman sticker. <laughs> yeah, I got that. <laughs> Russ has been to Kona. He's been <laughs> yeah, to Hawaii. So. Uh, for you, uh, with respect to how things have changed with respect to technology. Yeah. Um, what would your life have been like in high school had you had those legs that you have now versus the ones you had then? Would you well, have you been involved in, that way in, in more high school athletics? And I such think, uh, you know, when, and the time came and I became a freshman in high school, I, I really get, gave the thought of running track uh, yeah. for my school, but actually got a little pushback from the coaches because yeah. they were afraid. I remember the story. That my legs would, would, for one, be an unfair advantage, but two, might injure somebody because of the way and the style that I run. Well, oh, I, I, wow. I talked to the, uh, you know, you, the, uh, high school association because they felt that Rudy's legs running cross country yeah. would go out to the side. Yeah, because he, because he doesn't have the knee flexion. Right. Like, like, because now, if you were below the knee amputee, you'd have a knee flexion, right. and, sure. and, and that's why you see those guys. But but basically, you're you're moving your hips, swinging my legs out. I don't, I don't use any knees, so yeah. my oh, legs man. swing out, yeah. and uh, I can run pretty fast. But it, it, it potentially could you know injure somebody if they were right next to me. Yeah. Sub yeah. six right. minute mile, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah I saw that. <laughs> Reassuring your place in the front of the line. Yeah, <laughs> Russ has a six minute mile driving. 